It is a life-changing rehab program for people with brain injuries, and there is only one in the state. But tonight, we've learned Alina Health program, Alina Health rather, will be cutting the program after the hospital system announced last week it's cutting hundreds of jobs. Kaya Edwards talked to employees and patients. Kaya? Julie, they're just starting to find out the community reintegration program through Alina's Courage Kenny Institute will end September 8th. Matt Stifter and Ken Haynes met at Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute, part of Alina Health. My stroke was Easter Sunday of 2020. A casino Honest. game supervisor, Ken was first to join the community reintegration program here. Shuffling cards and pulling the cards out of the shoe were near impossible. Four months later, I worked at a heavy metal factory. Matt arrived. A chain caught on a piece of steel and when it unhooked from the piece of steel come back and hit me right here. For six months, they worked alongside fellow brain injury yeah, survivors, yeah. relearning everyday life skills. Like I told my wife, don't tell me, write it down or text it to me. That way I won't forget something. So you learn different ways to manage things that used to be you took for granted. It's been a great program for us and Ken and I remained we remain friends and good friends. We're just like family. Wednesday, Alina Health announced it's getting national recognition for stroke care, receiving 19 American Heart Association awards. This, as employees tell CARE 11, the program Matt and Ken value will be canceled in a couple of months. They say there are few programs like it nationwide, the closest being Denver and New York. It, it makes doesn't sense make any us. sense. Yeah. I'm very confused. I, yeah. Alina responded to inquiry with a statement saying, as part of our efforts to address our current financial challenges, Alina Health has made the difficult decision to close the community reintegration program. The hospital also promising to provide one-on-one -on -one coordination to help program clients access similar outpatient services through Alina Health Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute and in the community. Last week, Alina announced 350 layoffs system-wide, also citing unprecedented financial challenges. Thank you so much, Kaya.